Andante, Opus 35, Number 1, by Fernando Sor. This is an introduction to Andante Opus 35, number 1, by Fernando Sur, for the GCH Guitar Academy Fingerstyle Guitar Course. And hopefully you can listen to this tune a couple of times so you get familiar with it. So when we do the lesson on how to play it, you already have an idea how it should sound. If you'd like to learn this tune and you haven't already subscribed, Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and then you'll be notified when I upload the lesson. The name of this tune, Andante, means walking pace and it refers to the tempo. However, as I'm sure you're aware, walking pace can be anything from 70 beats per minute to 150 plus beats per minute. So how you interpret it? is up to you. My research into this tune shows that most modern classical guitarists play this tune at between 130 and 160 beats per minute, which is quite fast. And you can see on this 19th century metronome that Andante goes from about 122 beats per minute to 152 beats per minute. And the performance you've just heard was played at around 155 beats per minute, though it did speed up and slow down to give the tune more feeling. Here's what the tune sounds like played at a uniform speed with a metronome at 130 beats per minute. Here's a brief introduction to the composer Fernando Sor. Fernando Sor was born, or baptised at least, on the 14th of February 1778, and he died on the 10th of July 1839. So his lifespan was covered mainly by the classical period, with some of the romantic period. And he was born in Barcelona, under the name José Fernando Marsario Sors. However, he signed his manuscripts, Fernando Sor. He was a really accomplished musician from a very early age. And amongst the kinds of music he wrote were symphonies, duets, piano music, songs, a mass, and ballets. And for me, He's best known for his guitar music, 
as he wrote some really difficult and well accomplished tunes. However, this tune is one of his easier ones, and it comes from a collection of tunes that were to aid guitarists build up their skills. If you've been following the GCH Guitar Academy fingerstyle course, you will be familiar with Dionisio Aguardo and Fernando Sor and Dionisio Aguardo lived together for a while in Paris and whilst they were living together he wrote a duet for the two that was entitled The Two Friends and it was actually marked on the score as Sor and Aguardo which acts as a great historical proof that Sor and Aguardo played together. And they probably became good friends because they were both Spaniards living in France. However, he didn't stay in Paris as he lived for a period in London and in Moscow. But he returned to Paris before the end of his life. His death was rather tragic as the last tune he wrote was dedicated to his daughter and it was a mass. And after writing this, he fell into a deep depression and two years later died of tongue and throat cancer. I think this andante and many of his tunes were written at far happier times in his life as they have a really nice uplifting feel about them. Here it is again so you really get used to the sound. Finally, here's the modern version, and I'll provide the backing track with the lesson to make practicing it more interesting. If you'd like to learn how to play this tune, or you'd just like the backing track for this version I've just played, then I'll put the link down below in the description. I'll also put the link to the entire GCH Guitar Academy fingerstyle guitar course, which is completely free on YouTube. And you can get the tablature at www.ebooksforguitar.com. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it or would like to see some guitar lessons, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon and then you'll be notified when I upload new lessons. Thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you again soon.